In this examination of Stoic life lessons, we'll address this unpleasant reality. Many women end up leaving kind-hearted men for those who treat them horribly. This may be difficult to swallow. Have you ever woken up in the middle of the night wondering why she left you for that heartless jerk? It's a profound question, yet we're here to explore this confusing matter because we've all seen it. Girls who prefer nasty dudes to truly good men. In this episode of Epic Stoic Journal, we'll explore the ten main causes of this seemingly unreasonable behavior. By understanding these concepts, you'll receive insightful knowledge that can help you steer clear of sadness in the future and toward a path of genuine happiness and personal growth. First, let's examine the reason. In the complicated nature of relationships, jerks are highly valued and many decent guys find it perplexing when women select someone who seem like jerks over them. Although this can be challenging to comprehend, psychological attractiveness and perceived value play a major role. Jerks, whether intentional or not, frequently exhibit characteristics like arrogance and selfishness. Satisfaction in taking chances and defying social norms. Subconsciously, these attributes are associated with high genetic fitness. Although strength and resilience are attributes that are desirable in a mate, women who are motivated by instinct may find these features attractive. Although these traits aren't always favorable, they do signify high value within the context of evolutionary psychology. Marcus Aurus observed sagely that the caliber of your thoughts determines how happy you will be in life. This stoic principle serves as a reminder to change our perspective. Good men sometimes overextend themselves in an attempt to be kind and attentive, which lowers their perceived value in situations where there is no competition or challenge. Jerks, on the other hand, project distance, which makes them appear more elusive and, as a result, more attractive. This isn't to suggest that you should take on undesirable characteristics. Rather, knowing this dynamic can assist you in finding a balance between paying attention and maintaining your own worth. As the philosopher Epictetus noted, when faced with the disappointment of watching women leave for jerks, it's not what happens to you that matters. Utilize it as a time for introspection and personal development. It's more important to strike a balance than to fundamentally alter who you are. Accept the traits that make you a decent man and cultivate limits and a strong sense of self-worth at the same time. To investigate this concept further, think about the economic theory of scarcity, which states that something's worth is created by rarity and that when something is too easily accessible, its value decreases. The same goes for relationships, if you're overly giving and constantly available right away, you could unintentionally come across as less important. Instead, strive for a good balance. Be encouraging and considerate, but also mindful of your own needs and limitations. A second justification, the challenge of being difficult to acquire and the allure of mystery. Could she shed some light on why women occasionally prefer jerks to decent men? Even if it can be hard to comprehend, jerks have a way of keeping an enigmatic persona, carefully concealing information about their personal histories and deepest feelings. Women are drawn in by this aura of doubt because they feel driven to solve the jerk's mystery, which creates an alluring conundrum. The psychological tug-of-war between hot and cold plays on deep-seated fears of abandonment, making the jerk seem excitingly unattainable and valuable, much like a rare prize that requires relentless effort to win. In contrast, good men are often open books freely sharing their lives and feelings. They provide reassurance and loyalty right from the start, which, although healthy, doesn't spark the same obsessive drive. Jerks are also skilled at giving mixed signals, being warm and engaging one moment only to become distant and aloof the next. Imagine a contemporary scene in which Sarah, a prosperous and intellectual lady, is drawn to Mark. 
a mystery figure who seldom shares much about himself, despite having a dependable and devoted partner for no apparent reason. Tom, who is dependable and honest in his communication, Sarah is enthralled with Mark, despite his elusive nature. She spends hours attempting to understand him and interpret his confusing signals, which only serves to fuel her obsession. Now let's pause to consider why it is that we so frequently link value with mystery and struggle. This tendency to pursue difficult to obtain rewards can be traced back to our primal instincts, where unpredictable rewards elicit stronger emotional responses than consistent ones. It's similar to gambling, where the uncertainty of winning attenuates a more intense addiction than the steady assurance of a small, consistent reward. How many times have you overlooked someone dependable and genuine for the thrill of the uncertain? This is where the Stoic philosophy can offer insightful information. By adhering to the Stoic principles, one might learn to value stability, predictability, and emotional fortitude. Appreciate the qualities of a decent individual. Sincerity, dependability, and emotional openness. Do you find this point of view helpful? If so, please leave a comment below so that you may connect with people who share your interests and share your thoughts. Third, the excitement of being unexpected. Our brains still yearn for the excitement and thrill of adventure even in today's society of comfort and security. This yearning may assist to explain why some women abandon decent guys for jerks. The emotional highs and lows that keep one's mind and body engaged are often lacking from decent guys who are compassionate and consistent. This seems contradictory, but it's not a flaw in good men. Rather, it's a reflection of an innate human craving for excitement and unpredictability. While women certainly value the generosity of good men, the so-called jerks frequently create drama with their erratic emotional swings that make things intriguing and psychologically engaging. Although it may seem counterproductive, their biological inclination to avoid the allure of the unpredictability that jerks offer is rooted in our shared evolutionary history. Intended to promote genetic diversity by chance, mating with unsuitable partners, as opposed to good men who provide steady predictability. However, this subconscious pull can help women realize that these unstable relationships lack the long-term security their logical minds desire. Understanding this evolutionary programming can help you not take it personally. Jerks represent new experiences that mimic the psychological thrill humans once needed to avoid inbreeding and disease. As the renowned Stoic philosopher Marcus Aurelius once stated, the quality of your ideas determines the enjoyment of your life. Therefore, this conduct isn't a reflection of your value, but rather a representation of deeply entrenched biological urges. You can overcome these emotional obstacles more skillfully by adopting a Stoic mindset and concentrating on the aspects of your life that you can control, as opposed to attempting to influence how unpredictable other people may feel. Why do we chase the excitement of a roller coaster or the tension of a gripping film? For the same reason, some women may find jerks attractive. That being said, this is not a criticism of good men. Rather, it is an invitation to understand the complex interplay between our biological instincts and logical desires. By doing so, you can approach relationships with a stoic mindset, embracing life's unpredictability while maintaining your own emotional stability. The excitement and unpredictability they bring can feel like an adrenaline rush. Consider the wisdom of Epicus. Another renowned Stoic philosopher once said that what matters is how you respond to whatever happens to you. This viewpoint can change the way you see why women sometimes seem to make irrational decisions in relationships. It's a reminder to put more emphasis on your own development and stability rather than letting other people's erratic behavior control you. In addition to encouraging you to interact with others in a more sympathetic and compassionate way, Thinking about this concept can help you develop a resilient stoic mindset that will allow you to handle life's ups and downs with grace and composure. Consider how you can introduce excitement and unpredictability into a relationship in a healthy, balanced way. Keep in mind that this isn't about changing who you are. Rather, it's about enhancing your inherent strengths with a hint of unpredictability. 
By doing this, you can create a more dynamic and fulfilling connection. The fourth justification jerks play on people's addiction to excitement. A lot of jerks. Works purposefully engage in actions that raise red flags for female psychologists. Infrequently, quiet treatments, erratic mood swings, and sporadic jealous outbursts. These actions produce an emotional roller coaster that maintains tension and attachment anxiety in the relationship all the time. This creates an addiction to the continuous drama, giving their partners the impression that their relationship could terminate at any time. As Marcus Aurelius famously said, the happiness of your life depends upon the quality of your thoughts in today's world. This anxious attachment and codependency mimic a dysfunctional version of humanity's harsh evolutionary past where the threat of being cast out of the tribe was a real concern. In contrast, good men provide stability, comfort, and reliability, which do not trigger the same subconscious anxieties that some women's minds crave. Without the intermittent crisis and emotional turmoil, the brain may become restless and gradually disengage from the relationship. This means that the quality of our relationships is greatly influenced by underlying psychological dynamics. To put this in a current context, the excitement addiction that some women experience is not a reflection of a good man's values. Rather, it is an indication of a deeper, often unconscious yearning for emotional upheaval and the thrill of uncertainty. For men who are learning about stoicism and applying its principles in their lives, it's important to recognize that providing stability and reliability is not a weakness, but rather a strength. The key is to understand and accept that while some women may be attracted to chaos, this does not diminish the value of being a good man. Take into consideration how frequently we see this dynamic play out in movies and TV shows. The bad boy who keeps the heroine on edge is a common trope in storytelling because it taps into these primal instincts. However, in reality, such relationships often lead to unhappiness and instability. It's not what happens to you that matters, as Epicus wisely said. If you find these insights valuable, feel free to like, subscribe, and share your thoughts in the comments section. Alternatively, you can embrace the stoic mindset of focusing on what you can control and letting go of what you cannot. Reflecting on these stoic teachings reminds us that we cannot control others' desires or behaviors, but we can control our responses and maintain our self-worth instead of trying to mimic the erratic behaviors of jerks to keep someone interested. Let's continue discussing the significant effects of stoicism in the comments section below. The fifth factor is the desire to emotional roller coasters in relationships. A lot of women find themselves drawn to guys who treat them badly, frequently ignoring those who provide true stability and care. This may sound strange, but the attraction often stems from the emotional roller coaster that jerks offer. Their erratic highs and lows create an addictive emotional cycle. And while a good man provides steady and dependable companionship, it can be mistakenly seen as boring once the initial excitement wears off. In contrast, jerks keep women engaged through cycles of emotional distress and fleeting moments of relief. This is similar to how addiction functions on the brain, as the chaotic nature of these relationships activates the same neural pathways that are triggered by substances that are addictive. Imagine a situation where a woman endures the emotional torment of a jerk's silent treatment, only to experience a euphoric high when he finally shows affection. Similar to Stockholm Syndrome, in which victims form a connection to their captors, love bombing and jerk's false promises have the same transient, high-impact effect on the brain's reward center as potent drugs. Happiness in sharp contrast to concern it's possible that partners who show dependable and constant devotion are mistakenly perceived as uninteresting or unenthusiastic. Let's look at a contemporary example to better understand this dynamic. Despite John's unwavering support, Sarah, a successful professional in her 30s, seems to have it all. She is dating John, a considerate and loving partner who treats her with respect and kindness, but for some reason, Sarah finds herself drawn to Mike a charismatic but unpredictable man who brings the emotional highs and lows that John does not. Sarah is drawn to Mike's wild arm because she feels like something is missing, but this decision leads her in a state of mental upheaval all the time. 
However, when Mike shows her deep devotion, even for a small period of time, she feels alive and cherished. Why do you think Sarah and similar individuals prefer instability over an emotional roller coaster? Could it be that people incorrectly think they can't experience the thrill of powerful emotions and unpredictability in secure relationships? How does Stoic M assist us in comprehending and navigating these intricate emotional landscapes in the modern world? Understanding this dynamic is crucial because it emphasizes how important it is to distinguish between the transient highs of emotional manipulation and true contentment. To be Stoic, one must learn to value consistency and sincere love. Understanding that true happiness arises from a stable, balanced state, rather than from ongoing emotional turbulence. Relationship with REL This knowledge can help you make wiser decisions in your relationships by helping you choose partners who truly care about you and support you over those who only provide you a short-term rush at the expense of your long-term well-being. We may cultivate a mindset that prioritizes inner calm and resilience while avoiding the destructive by adopting stoic ideals. Emotional roller coaster allure. Sixth justification. Self-improvement. Jerks jerks, in spite of their poisonous actions, might inadvertently encourage their partners to pursue constant self-improvement. Even though this may be a painful reality to accept, it's crucial to take a stoic approach when you're with a jerk. Their persistent undermining and emotional chaos can cause deep-seated insecurities, which magnify perceived shortcomings in areas like appearance, social skills, achievements, or confidence. The dissatisfaction this causes feeds an obsessive drive to become a version of oneself that would be worthy of the jerk's affection and approval. But here's the catch. The jerk's approval is never consistent. It's like a carrot that is continually pulled away which keeps the self-optimization cycle going. In contrast, good men who genuinely accept and validate women unintentionally stop this self-improvement treadmill when they make a woman feel like she is enough. Without the emotional support of these good men, she may frustratingly lose the drive to realize her full potential. Although Marcus Aurelius wisely observed that the soul becomes dyed with the color of its thoughts, this is not intended to suggest that good men should be less supportive. Rather, it sheds light on a complex aspect of human psychology and relationships. A jerk takes advantage of this by creating an environment of constant challenge and instability, which taps into the evolutionary drive for ruthless self-betting. If you found this perspective helpful, please consider leaving a comment. Humanity evolved to compete in the field of sexual selection, and this dynamic reflects that ingrained instinct. Leave a fantastic comment below so that we may communicate. The seventh reason Jerk is good at social cues in the intricate realm of relationships, imagine a scene from our distant past where showmanship and displays of competitive prowess were crucial in attracting a mate. Jerks often outshine good men because they are skilled at social displays. These self-centered individuals are adept at public drama and provocations, tapping into deeper-rooted biological instincts that once helped advertise valuable genes in the presence of competitors. Unlike good men, who typically maintain a more subdued social presence, jerks, with their narcissistic tendencies, embody qualities that women find attractive. Signs of strength and dominance. These bold individuals participate in public confrontations, playful teasing in social settings, and extravagant spending to flaunt their resources. This poisonous behavior is comparable to a peacock's tail in terms of its ability to attract attention and possible partners. Seneca famously remarked, He who is brave is free, reminding us that true strength comes from inner fortitude and resiliency rather than external displays. Nevertheless, the ostentatious actions of jerks continue to speak to women discreetly on a basic level. In today's social contexts, these outward demonstrations of power and ingenuity are hardwired into our minds to attract the primitive eye. In order to negotiate this complicated dynamic, women may find themselves drawn to guys who can command attention and impress both friends and strangers. Good men should appreciate integrity and calm strength. Rather than copying the destructive qualities of jerks, they should concentrate on emulating real stoic values. Marcus Aurelius W.I., 
prudently counseled mankind to stop squabbling over what a decent man should be. This timeless wisdom urges men to develop inner values and show strength through deeds that matter, rather than meaningless gestures. For males When it comes to stoicism, it's important to realize that true beauty stems from self-control and character. By adopting a stoic mindset, you can project a calm confidence that contrasts sharply with the jerk's transient appeal in a world where deeper qualities are frequently overshadowed by superficial impressions. Accept stoic lessons from life and develop resilience. Integrity and wisdom demonstrate your worth through steady, dependable acts that are a reflection of your inner fortitude rather than through ostentatious displays. Testing male authority at a deep instinctual level is the seventh reason. It might seem counterintuitive, but jerks who exhibit controlling narcissism and unwavering confidence can mislead women into thinking they embody the ideal of genetic fitness better than modern good men who value equality. Many women still evaluate whether their partners can be strong patriarchal providers and protectors for potential siblings. This archaic method of mate selection can help to explain why otherwise intelligent women may find themselves strangely drawn to possessive or demeaning alpha male jerks who demand obedience, even though a part of their brains knows that such behavior is inappropriate. Egalitarian partners wisely avoid such behavior. Though Sarah is a successful and independent woman who has always advocated for equality and respect in relationships, her evolutionary instincts can still be triggered when she encounters a dominant patriarchal figure particularly during times of stress or insecurity. Despite her strong values, she found herself mysteriously drawn to Mark, a self-assured yet domineering man who frequently displayed possessive and controlling behavior. Although Sarah's friends found it hard to believe that she would leave her loving and supportive partner John for someone like Mark, Sarah found a strange sense of security in Mark's assertiveness, mistakenly taking his domineering nature for strength and stability during stressful times at work or in her personal life. This response, which has its roots in evolutionary psychology, frequently triumphs over reason, causing women to select partners who may not be the best fit for them in the long run. This circumstance forces women to engage in critical introspection. Have you ever noticed that you are drawn to those that display controlling behavior, taking it for strength? If so, how can we, as people pursuing stoic happiness, identify these tendencies and make more thoughtful choices in our relationships. By acknowledging these instinctive reactions and understanding their evolutionary roots, we can begin to question our choices more critically. It's important to realize that the qualities that lead to true stoic happiness and fulfilling relationships today are rooted in mutual respect, respect equality, and support principles that are highly valued in modern stoicism. By working toward a more enlightened perspective on relationships, we ought to aim for, in our quest for stoic bliss, partners who uphold our independence, foster our progress, and exhibit stoicism. It's important to be around positive, non-dominant individuals. If you find these ideas insightful, please like, subscribe, and leave a comment below with your opinions. Together, let's continue investigating the enormous impact of stoicism. The seventh reason that jerks make people jealous. Although it may seem strange that someone may be attracted to a jealous partner, jealousy is a powerful feeling that has profound evolutionary roots. An innate defense mechanism, envy helped prehistoric women secure their male. When a man exhibits narcissistic traits, such as open flirtation and a disregard for monogamy, it may seem toxic, but these behaviors activate women's primal anxieties and insecurities which prompts them to try to win over and reform in order to ease the tensions. Nevertheless, partners remained faithful and committed. The Wrong This is a harsh reality of evolution where ease and certainty can be mistakenly equated with a lack of attraction. Take this into consideration as the stoic mindset teaches us to understand and accept the nature of things without passing judgment. On the other hand, Good men frequently miss this subconscious biological test by being too earnest and straightforward about their commitment from the start. While this sincerity is virtuous, 
it can unintentionally signal a lack of competition and desirability, making the relationship seem less worth fighting for. According to Marcus Aurelius, our ideas shape the world around us. By comprehending these dynamics, we can better manage relationships without harboring animosity or bewilderment. Let's investigate why these basic fears and insecurities manifest so vividly. In order to ensure the survival and success of their offspring, women are biologically programmed to seek the best possible partner. A man who exudes confidence, even if it is superficial, can appear more capable of providing resources and protection. For this reason, jerks who frequently display overconfidence and dominance may seem more attractive because they project an image of strength and capability, even if it is only a facade. This is not to say that good men are less capable, but rather that their sincere efforts do not elicit the same primal reactions in the context of Stoicism. This knowledge enables us to remain unaffected by these superficial dynamics. Epicus is credited with saying that what matters is not what happens to you, but how you respond to it. This means that good men can choose to control their own actions and reactions, rather than letting their circumstances discourage them. They can also continue to uphold their integrity and cultivate their virtues, because they understand that true strength comes from character and consistency. Furthermore, it's important to acknowledge that relationships are complicated and influenced by a variety of factors outside of evolutionary instincts. Although jerks may get attention at first because of their dominant behavior, partnerships involving emotional intelligence, communication skills, and mutual respect are important, since these relationships frequently lack the depth and stability necessary for long-term enjoyment. Good guys provide a strong basis for a fulfilling relationship with their unwavering devotion and sincere concern. How might this insight encourage you to examine your own relationships and actions? There are ways that your earnestness could be unintentionally signaling a lack of desirability. How can you demonstrate commitment while keeping a sense of challenge and excitement? It's about striking a balance between staying true to your values and being aware of the natural dynamics at play 10. The desire to fix the damaged jerk. The thought of helping guys who are viewed as broken, particularly those who are called jerks, appeals to a lot of women. These males frequently project an image of being emotionally damaged, gloomy, and withdrawn, giving the idea that they are suffering from severe trauma. This image taps into a woman's natural inclination to nurture and heal, making her believe she can be the one to break through the jerk's tough exterior and reach the vulnerable, hurting man, within the idea of being the savior who can transform his flaws into strengths, is incredibly tempting and ego-boosting jerks often play into this by occasionally letting their guard down, revealing brief glimpses of a kinder, more vulnerable side. These moments are calculated to reinforce the woman's belief that she is making progress, encouraging her to continue investing emotional energy into bringing out this hidden side permanently. This behavior known as breadcrumbing keeps her focused on the potential of who he could be, rather than the reality of who he is. In contrast, good men do not trigger this savior complex because they do not present themselves as damaged or in need of fixing. They are emotionally stable, open, and consistent, which paradoxically can be less stimulating for someone driven by the need to nurture and save. Good men don't have the extreme highs and lows that come with attempting to fix a jerk. Instead, they provide steadiness and sincere companionship. This dynamic is frequently observed in modern life as many people are drawn to drama and emotional upheaval subconsciously because it makes them feel more alive or gives them a sense of purpose. However, this pursuit frequently results in emotional exhaustion, exhaustion, and heartbreak. To approach relationships with a stoic mindset, it's important to recognize and resist the urge to save someone. Epicus wisely stated that people are not disturbed by things, but rather by the views they take of them. Realizing that a person's problematic behavior is their responsibility to change, not yours to fix. Practicing stoicism in relationships is concentrating on your own actions, reactions, and decisions rather than getting caught up in the chaos of trying to alter other people. Instead, focus on building strong, mutually beneficial relationships. This entails establishing boundaries, realizing your value, and selecting partners who value and respect you for who you are rather than what you can do for them. 
In summary, although the allure of healing a damaged person can be strong, it is frequently a misguided endeavor that results in more harm than good. By adopting a stoic approach, you can navigate relationships with clarity and emotional resilience, eventually finding connections that are fulfilling and balanced. Keep in mind that the secret to happiness and a stoic mindset. Accept the stoic principles and let go of the desire to correct what isn't your problem, and you'll discover a greater feeling of harmony and contentment in your relationships. This stoic knowledge can change the way you think about love and relationships, resulting in stronger, longer-lasting bonds. We appreciate your interest in our film about why women choose jerks over decent men. Examining Stoic Life Lessons We've covered the frequently painful reality of why this occurs on Winstoic, as well as how understanding psychological and behavioral factors can help us develop and improve our relationships. Now it's your turn to consider and implement these Stoic principles in your day-to-day -day activities. How can you use this knowledge to foster personal growth and happiness? Please feel free to share your ideas and experiences in the comments section below. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. For additional insights, watch the suggested video.